Meaning is important here because one may think that there are two actions happening in past that the king not being defeated and the king carefully planning his next battle. The two things are simultaneous. It is not that one thing is happening first and then the second is happening. And therefore the use of past perfect tense marked by the usage of had is not warranted. This is the main catch in the question. If you could get this, it's easy to get this question right. However, most students would think that the use of uh, past perfect tense is all right. It is not simple past tense would be the correct usage. So options which use the past perfect tense can be eliminated straight away. These two can go. Despite his army having never faced defeat, having never faced defeat is passive. This can go. Relatively, we have a better choice here, which is which is active. Despite his army never being defeated, it is also passive in never being defeated. More importantly, we have an answer choice which is active to the point. Even though his army never faced defeat, the king carefully planned his every next battle. This is all right. What happens is that in these questions, students look at some difference and they immediately start eliminating. One may think that even though is two words and despite is one word, and therefore options A and B can be eliminated. It's a common mistake many students would commit. But please understand that uh, redundancy is not a deal breaker. It becomes a deal breaker when everything else is okay. You are left with two choices and you have to go with one that is better. Then use these things to eliminate choices. You can't, you should not use these small differences as deal breakers to begin with because even though although this is two words this is conveying the message in a more effective and active way and therefore b is the correct answer choice here